You are watching FAF Television Network. Reaching nations, touching lives, and transforming generations. Watching FAF Television Network. Reaching nations, touching lives, and transforming generations. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us on our third day of prayer and fasting. It's been uh, a season and we are continuing in prayer and fasting. These are the 14 days of our prayer and fasting, corporate fasting as a ministry. I uh, know some of us are going up to 21, some of us up to 40 days. But like I always say, it's important to command your ear to point out to have time and just have a moment of prayer. And prayer is a discipline. If you don't discipline yourself to pray, you will never find time to pray. And so it's our routine every evening at 7 p.m. We gather live on FAF TV and all our social media platforms just to pray and to command uh, the ear. This is our ear of the evidences of God. Last year was our year of breaking new grounds and like I always say God helped us to break new grounds and this year we are building a sanctuary so I'll also ask you to partner with us if God lays it upon your heart to sow a seed, to partner with us, to buy uh, uh, cement, what is needed for construction, please go ahead and feel free. Our contacts are right on the screen and also at the end of this broadcast we shall be sharing much about that but most importantly we are in for a time of prayer and today we are praying for governance we are praying for governance we are praying for the government we are praying for uh, the government and I know one thing that is I, 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 am, I am certain about is that the Bible says when the righteous are in authority people will always rejoice when the righteous are in authority people will rejoice i believe i believe and i know with all my heart that we need righteous men on the government we need righteous people sitting in high places the reality is that if we don't have righteous people that is when we begin to suffer and i am i am confident that if we begin to pray we can be able to choose who we want to see uh, on the throne are leading the nations of the earth hallelujah so join me join me join me as we pray uh, for the government we want to begin by prayer just wherever you are set the atmosphere I said in the previous broadcast that God every every major move of God was a product of an atmosphere every major move of God was a product of an atmosphere God always moves when the atmosphere is right you see, God always moves when the atmosphere is set and is conducive. So I want us to get into prayer in the next 30 minutes just to command uh, uh, this uh, session in His presence and the Lord shall do something great in our lives. Open up your mouth wherever you are and begin to charge in the Spirit. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, we honor you. We give you praise, we honor you, we adore you, mighty Father. We exalt your holy name, mighty Father. Those who are in the studio begin to pray as well. Raso kete mazamba le braduka, le zendo riato sadaba kaya, le ke sandala braze ketea, e prandozo kotori na mazala, ke rando se kedia bazonda, le prandozo. Father, we lift up our government. We lift up the nation of Kenya into your able hands, my God. We lift up the nation of Kenya in your hands, my Father, my God. We declare, oh God, the Lord as they carry an enormous burden. The decisions that they make, oh God, are enormous in magnitude. We pray for, Lord, the sobriety. We pray for the Holy Spirit to reign in our government, my Father. Lord of all creation, bless our land and nation. We speak justice, be our shield 
and defender. Lord, we speak your justice. We speak your justice. We speak your justice. We speak your justice, oh God. May your justice be our shield and defender. La seprado zakaya namaze e karando sekaya le prado zokokosha rando se pramahanda le kere de de babozi kaya naramazai rakatando rekete my father we speak your liberty we speak your power of our government we declare my father my god the legislation the legislature my father the executive the parliament the senator lord they are covered by the blood of jesus christ we stand by your word my father the lord when you give us leaders you will give us leaders after your own heart we declare even ahead of 2022 in this year 2021 my father there'll be a lot of election a lot of politics going on concerning 2022 father we declare that the verdict of god concerning our nation concerning our government will stand the promises of god the verdict of god concerning kenya will stand father we speak an altar an altar of righteousness an altar of authority an altar of power an altar my father that is right in your presence my father will be erected in the nation of Kenya father we come against every powers of darkness that are ruling our leadership the, the witchcraft altars the altars that, that give a, a sacrifice of blood the altars that claim blood people that, that keep uh, uh, animals uh, people that keep uh, uh, snakes tortoises people that keep animals that that claim power by bloodshed we come against them in the mighty name of jesus christ people that give blood money to confuse our young men and women out there that they will vote for them raso prakata we cancel every blood money on the altars of yahweh we cancel every spirit of as jezebel the spirit my father of Baal and asherah in the in the government in the electioneering season we rise against those spirits we cancel them we render them powerless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Rako Santa Rababosa Rekete Vandala Bazia Rako Se Pradaha Rekete Rado Zeka Mando Roto Le Bazetere Iprando Zeka Rato Irakato Rana Mazaya E Reke Se Pradarama E Nele Brado Zina E Parako Saya Mando Lo Brazana E Raka Kasadaba Rekete Rebabosa Meka Rando Le Papa Somebody pray somebody pray it is in the place of prayer that divinity meets humanity it is the place of prayer that the heart of god meets the hearts of men my father and my god i decree and i declare let your glory reign let your power reign father let your divinity meet the humanity my father we come against every deep state we come against every cartels that are derailing this country that are derailing our government we render those powers powerless in the mighty name of jesus christ father we rule from the priesthood we rule from the prophetic we rule from the kingly angles my father we declare that the verdict of zion will rule over this nation the verdict of the king of kings we rule over this nation in the mighty name of jesus my father and my god we decree and we declare that we shall not go down as a church in kenya we shall have a voice because the government coming in my father will be full of your power will be full of your glory will be led by your spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ we declare my father even the registration of churches will open up my father because the the government that will rise my father will be a government after your own heart my father your word says there was no nation at the time of israel there was no day that the government dictated the matters of the church it was the church that dictated the matters of the nation we declare lord my father in 2021 the voice is coming back to the church we shall speak the ordinances of God to the government my father we shall speak your ordinances to the government my father it was the prophet that installed kings we declare the prophetic will stand my father and install the kings we declare my father even upon the presidency we speak father your decisions that are made by the president my father my God will not just be for him but for the nation my father my God we pray that he will lead them we pray that he will strengthen 
our president. We pray that you give him wisdom and grace. Let him speak and act with honesty and integrity in all situations. Lord, give him a glimpse of how much you love him and how much you love the world you created. How much you love Kenya. I pray that the heart of our president, my father, will be drawn to yourself. The heart of your our president will be drawn to yourself. My father, my father, there will be a closer relationship between our president and you, my father. We pray right now in the state house. Anoint him, my father, with your Holy Spirit. We speak to him in the spirit of oh God, in the quiet place. May you know, may he know that you have him, my father. Unless Lord lead your leader nation, the workers be watched in vain. Unless you, you watch, the watchers watch in vain. Father, I speak strength. I speak wisdom. We speak maturity. The people surrounding our president, may they be mature people, not just mature in stature, but the word says that we grow in wisdom and in stature. I pray for the divine wisdom. Father, my God, let there be truth, my Father. Let there be truth, my Father. My Father, let there be truth. I speak the wisdom. Today we reject every voice. Those who urge our president to sit for to raise for personal gain are uh, those people that are there to take the scoffers to themselves and destroy the economy of our nation. We declare, my Father, the powers of corruption are coming down in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Reke kete re 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 babosa, reke re be 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 ande re babosa, she kete re re babosa da da baba, eke re 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 babosa. In Jesus' mighty name, I want us to pray. The Bible says in the book of First Timothy, chapter two, verse number one to four. First of all, then I urge that supplications, prayers, and intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and a quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. I want us to pray in supplication, in intercession, in thanksgiving for the kings of this nation. For, for the king of this nation who is our president i want us to pray for him and i want us to pray for the transition 2020 22 is just here i want us to pray for a peaceful transition of power i want us to pray that even this bbi thing my god will be able to be at the center of everything that no longer again shall we see 207 208 thing reoccur our nation is god let me tell you we have the power we have the verdict when whatever we rule in this dimension, in the spiritual dimension, is what will affect our nation. And don't wait until it's time to vote. You can begin to cast your voice right now and begin to pray that the Lord will 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 will, will give us a peaceful and a quiet life, a godly and dignified in every way. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. My Father and my God, we call forth a peaceful and a quiet life. The Lord, we shall have a dignified, a godly aspect of life in every way. Your word says this is the good and a pleasing thing in your sight, O oh God. We pray that, Lord, as you desire, that all people may be saved. Lord, may our president come to your light. May our deputy president come to your light. May the cabinet come to your light. May, O oh God, the Senate come to your light. May the, 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 the political arenas, the governors, O oh God, the, 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 the leaderships of our counties, may they come Come to your light in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God. You say in the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 21, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right hand or wherever you go to the left, Lord, may we hear that voice. Let there be that voice telling our nation to turn in this right, to turn in this way, because we know, my Father, you can never lead us astray in this ear of your evidence. Father, may you lead, oh God, lead our nation, my Father, lead our government, oh God, lead our people, my Father, lead, oh my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Rakose pradande kete rekatoya, e prado ze prakatalama, rekento se pakalabaha, e reto se katalabadia, e prakato se peketa, ma reketo sarahande, ikale karando sadia, e reto se pakodia, mandole kereto saya, e 
Rando Secato, somebody pray wherever you are. Rako Saka Lebra, Icarando Satanaba, Ireto Setere, Etale Kerebago, Icarando Seprada, Rako Seprede, Ileze Neretosa, Mareko Soriana, Erako Siprada, Mando Lopa Setere, Erako Separana, Erede Lebazaya, Irenos. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Father. Romans chapter 13, verse number 1, the Bible says, Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. I want you to understand this. There is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. There are seasons when people begin to bring themselves in governance because of the deep state because of the rigging because of the, the the connections but the bible says that there is no authority that comes without god instituting it now when god has not called anyone into leadership and they impose themselves upon leadership then the people will begin to wait wickedness will begin to be rampant in the nation idolatry will begin to be rampant and i want us to rise up in prayer right now and begin to demolish every powers of darkness begin to demolish every system that is being worked on towards the next election towards our government right now there is covid and the common mona inchi is the one suffering and i'm saying this with confidence that even right now the taxes have been returned back to the way they were but now people are being still told to remain indoors we want to reverse this things in spirit listen to me a closed mouth is a closed destiny this is the time you must begin to pray that the economy of our nation will rise up again we shall go back to work we are tired of having only a 12 hour economy we want a 24 hour economy on our on on on, on 30 uh, uh, last year when we were having our uh, the unveiling of our word of the year the lord spoke about reviving a 24 hour economy and some of these things can't happen until we 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 begin to 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 call them in the secret place now open up your mouth and begin to pray even second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 says that if my people are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from the wicked ways the lord says i will heal their land our land needs healing we are tired of this covid thing our land needs healing churches need healing we are praying that the lord will touch our government the lord will touch our cities the lord will touch our counties that this year the evidences of god shall be felt even in the county and even uh, in the village levels open up your mouth let us rally in prayer lord we pray for our nation we pray lord for our government we declare my father as you say oh god that if we humble ourselves my father as we are praying in this third day of our prayer and fasting lord we decree and we declare that you are reigning in a mighty way you are doing a new thing in our lives oh god we call upon you my father as we seek your face as we turn away from the wicked ways father you will heal our land you will hear us from heaven and forgive our sins we declare my father as we are subject to the governing authorities we call upon every authority every person that is going to sit in any public office lord may they be con may, may they be picked by you may they be put in those offices by you we are calling godly ministers we are calling godly president we are calling a godly vice president we are calling a godly senators and governors we are calling on god on godly people to be in authority in the name of jesus christ my father my god as you say in jeremiah 29 verse 7 oh my father but seek the welfare of the city where i have sent you into exile and pray to the lord on its behalf for in its welfare you will find your welfare my father we are praying may we find our welfare because you are praying for the welfare of the city may we find our place in this city because we have prayed for the good of the city may we find our land in the city because you have prayed for the city may we find our position in the city because you have prayed for the city my father and my god every door that has been closed we are opening it up in the name of jesus christ we bring
break every agenda. We break every powers of darkness. Every petals of us and brass. My Father, my God. Oh my God. We, re- we pull down every those powers. Those iron metals that have been put to cage our breakthrough. To cage our doors. We break them now. We break them now. We break them now. In the name of Jesus. My Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We honor you, my Father. We worship you, my Father. Ikalepado kadaba. Rende sepa la babosa. In Jeremiah 29, verse number 7, the Bible says, But seek the welfare of the, of the city where I have sent you into exile, and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For in its welfare, you will find your welfare. Unless you pray for the town that God has put you, unless you pray for the government that God has put you in under, then you will never find something out of it. There are so many believers who are so quick in castigating and chastising the government. God is saying that if you pray for the welfare of that city, if you pray for that government, if you pray for that town, that is where you will find your welfare. If you pray for the land, that is where you will find the land. Now listen to me, child of God. We want to call on God and we want to declare that even over this nation, from the count from the national government to the county governments to the senate to the to the even to the to the komashinani we want to declare that the glory of god 2021 will saturate our nation we are praying for our currencies our money this year let money be in rotation let there be plenty of money listen to me even the ministries need money to run we are praying and if the government freezes freezes the economy we cannot be able to move let me advise you open up your mouth a closed mouth is a closed destiny begin to pray 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 masaka korataba eletere kantoraka masopele pradoya mandolo pakade bada ebedeke de mana erando seketo maroka to satada repede mazeka malokete ranana rekeketa mazota elazo karando iketoria naseda mandolo bakandaraba mekere katarada manderere babosa makorada dababo eketora dababosa mandekete debata ekarota dabandia e predeze keto shalala kanto rana e pazano rato sha rakete le kata marando se pedea mase kaya dababo malala badeleha rakata dabadandere ipadeze keterere masada baba sada e karato sadaba begin to speak blessings begin to speak blessings 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 let the blessings of god overtake this nation the bible says in the book of psalm 33 verse number 12 that blessed is the nation whose god is whose, the, whose god is the lord the people whom he has chosen as his heritage father we are your children may this nation be blessed by reason that i am here may this nation be blessed by reason that we are here may this nation be blessed by reason that we are here in the mighty name of jesus we declare in the name of the lord my father my father let this nation be blessed let this nation be blessed my father my god like peter answered the apostles in the book of acts 5 verse 29 we must obey god rather than men we declare jehovah father oh god of all creation my god my father oh lord we shall obey your voice this government will obey your voice this nation will obey your voice kenya hear my voice you are blessed beyond measure there is no curse there is no death there is no attacks there is no bloodshed over our nation in the mighty name of jesus my father my god we declare we declare we declare we declare in the name of the lord we declare we declare we declare we declare in the mighty name of jesus last prayer item as we close Masada Babosa in the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse number 6 the Bible says for unto us a child is born but to us a son is given are you hearing this for to us a child is born but to us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called a wonderful counselor a mighty God and everlasting father and a prince of peace 
Now, those are revelations of the faces of God through Christ. Number one, he is a wonderful counselor. If there is something the nation of Kenya needs, it needs a counselor. We don't just need men that are wise in their own understanding. The Bible says that we will find favor in his sight and he will give us wisdom. Are you understanding this? Now, if we need wisdom, we need men that are empowered by the Holy Ghost to be counselors to the president. Yes. We need men and women that are full of the Holy Spirit to be counselors to the leadership of this nation. If this government will stand, there must be an authentic voice or authentic voices that are leading this nation behind the scenes. Now when the president comes to speak or the DP or anybody in leadership or our governors, they are speaking what has passed through the endorsement of, a, of, of the voice of God. And you must understand that even in the Old Testament and even the New Testament, it was the prophets that gave guidance to the nation. It was not the president. It came from the voice of the prophets to give direction to the leadership. It was the prophets who anointed kings. My good, my good Lord. It was the prophets who anointed kings. And so we must begin to understand that in the dispensation we are living in, we must begin to align. It is no longer going to be a system where we get excited because the president has visited us. No. It will be normal when, when, when now the president comes to seek counsel from us because we are giving direction. The church must align and we're going to pray again. Uh, we get the counsel from God. Number two, he is a mighty God. That means there is nothing God cannot do. He says we call unto him and he will answer and he will show us great and mighty things. Now there are things that are not yet seen yet, but we can begin to call them to be seen. Number three, we are also calling an everlasting father. We have a kingdom that is everlasting. Now the kingdom of God is everlasting. The kingdom of man is only for a short time, but the kingdom of God is everlasting. The Bible Bible says that when Daniel had the vision, he said that I saw the stone and the stone came and fell and it destroyed all other kingdoms. Now we want the kingdom of God to be established on earth. We want the kingdom of God to be established on our government. That when our government starts to speak, we shall fear the voice of God. We shall river the voice of God and nothing but the voice of God. And the last one, we are praying for the Prince of Peace. That the peace, the shalom of God that surpasses human understanding will rest upon our nation open up your mouth as we close our prayer for today and we go to fourth day in the name of jesus tomorrow father you have given us a child and unto us you have given a son and you have said that the government shall be upon his shoulders father we are calling the government of kenya to rest upon the shoulders our shoulders my father we shall carry the government on our knees oh god and we declare my father you shall shall give us a counselor you shall give us counsel we speak wisdom my father we speak wisdom wisdom that comes from above lord may the government have counselors men that are full of the spirit men that are full of the anointing father use us to advise this government lord use us to give counsel where it is needed by the divine mandate of the kingdom we decree and we declare oh my father we call on your power my father let us receive my father my god that we shall receive oh my father the divine intelligence of the spirit to advise this nation on our knees oh god my father my father we look up to you we need that intelligence that comes from you my father daniel shadrach meshach and abednego were full of your spirit the lord they advised nebuchadnezzar on what needs to be done oh my father my god that even in the fire you you spoke, oh God, and reverted the worship of the idols to the worship of Yahweh. My Father, my God, we declare Kenya will have men that are full of the Spirit of God. We'll have men that are full of the grace of God. My God, my Father, we call him the mighty God, the God who says, I will answer when you call me. The one who shows forth his power, the one who shows forth his mightiness. Oh, my Father, my God, every other God is silent.
Jesus now in the name of Jesus. We call upon the everlasting Father. Lord, let your everlasting power, you are the Father to all of us. Let your everlasting kingdom reign over our nation. Let your power reign. Now, Lord, in this nation, never again shall we lose anyone in the transition of power. Never again shall we lose anybody because of the rangers of power. We call upon the everlasting Father, who is the Prince of Peace, the Shalom of God. We call upon Kenya. Hear the voice of the Lord. We are standing by the promises of God that our nation is safe and secure in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God, even for our armed forces. Lord, remember them. Remember our armed forces. We cover them by the blood of Jesus. Oh, we pray for the KDF. We pray for the prisons. We pray for the traffic. We pray for every department in the police forces. My Father, my God, even the security departments, Lord, we declare, let there be the shalom of God. Let there be the mighty God who says, I'm the mighty one in battle. Father, we surrender every battle to you, my Father. We surrender every battle against our nation unto you. Kenya will not fall prey of the antics of Al-Shabaab. We surrender even the Navy to the blood of Jesus Christ. My Father, even the airways, we surrender them. The, the air forces, we surrender them unto you, my Father. Our borders are secured by the blood of Jesus Christ. Our hands, our land is secured by the blood of Jesus. Lord, this nation, Kenya, will be had as a springboard of revival. We thank you, mighty Father, because you have done it in Jesus' mighty name. And somebody say, Amen. We thank the Holy Spirit. This is our third day of prayer and fasting. And I know something has shifted in the spirit. The dark rulers of this world have no position. They have no place. Our nation belongs to us. We command what will take charge of this nation. What will take place, we command it. And if you don't pray for your nation, if you don't pray for your president, your government, this will begin to always complain. And I believe as you have prayed, the Lord says, I will hear you from heaven and I will answer. We thank you, Father. If you want to give an offering, go ahead. The numbers on the screen. Partner with us so that you can continually be on the airwaves, praying together, sharing together. And of course, as we are building our new sanctuary, we are calling on partners to continue to partner with us. And we are looking forward to you being a partner in the name of Jesus. If you want to join us in church as well, go ahead and join us as we meet every day in prayer as we break uh, this fasting prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and see you tomorrow for the next day of prayer. Oh, for you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are watching for the television.